Hello everyone, myself Nishita, Assistant Professor, Department of CSIT, working at MLR Institute of Technology. In previous session, we have seen about swap space management and stable storage implementation. In swap space, we are going, we have seen about swapping and what is about swap in swap out and swap map. In stable storage, how we, the data is inserted and successfully partial failures and uh, total failures. So these, uh, these are the two sessions we have discussed in the last uh, session. So in this session, we are going to see about tertiary storage structures. So what do you mean by tertiary storage structure? So overview of this presentation, we are going to see the structure of tertiary storage. So the data that is not commonly accessed and typically not required for daily use is stored in territory storage. So the data which you are not uh, using daily that may be considered as tertiary storage. So that keeps under tertiary storage. So the data which is not required daily. So suppose you are browsing your Gmail daily. Uh, when you want uh, any files to implement that folder will be as kept aside that folder you may use you may not use daily whenever in case the need of that files or folders you will be uh, browsing that or else it will be kept aside that may be under tertiary storage tertiary storage is often slower and less expensive so it is very slower and less expensive than primary and secondary storage is re frequently used for data achieving and long term storage so the tertiary storage may be slower and it have very less expensive and then primary and secondary storage are frequently used for the data achieving long time storage so it consists some long time duration for storing the data that can be used for long time tertiary storage units are widely employed for off site storage so this units which are the data units which are widely employed for off-site storage. Tertiary storage units which are widely employed for off-site storage for the long time retention of volumes of data that are rarely accessed. So whatever you are accessing the data rarely means the employees access the data rarely for uh, recovering the mails or uh, getting the server messages from clients or clients will be sending to server. So whatever the employees which they are using that are frequently used. Tape libraries, optical jukeboxes and cloud storage are a few examples for tertiary storage system. So some examples for this tertiary storage systems are that may be tape libraries and some optical jukeboxes and another cloud storages that may be under cloud. Data is kept on magnetic tapes. So, uh, the data which are, which are kept on magnetic tapes, which are affordable and long lasting. So, that can be affordable and it can be shared to one person to another person by uh, using the pen drives or mails and it can be long lasting but slower to access than other forms of storage so when you are accessing compare with other devices this, may, this territory storage may be slower and in tape libraries so it's maybe some slow in the tape libraries in general optical jukeboxes are faster than tape libraries so in general the optical jukeboxes are faster than the tape, drive, tape libraries why because this may consist some more data to prevent or share whereas compared to tape libraries are slower than this but have a shorter lifespan since they store data on optical discs like cds and dvds so it has some shorter span shorter lifespan so when you are using cds uh, or dvds that may have some very lifespan will be very less why because until and unless you the use of that series that may be getting uh, errors or buffering due to some errors so that may be the lifetime will be very short compared to optical jukeboxes so these jukeboxes are maybe as cds or dvds 
so data storage on remote servers that are maintained by a third party so that this data can be maintained by this third party and are accessible through online is referred as cloud storage so the data uh, can be used to remote servers and that are maintained by a third party so some third party is using this data and this can be kept under cloud storage because it is made for rarely accessed data so it is very rarely used and does it need to be as quick as dependable as main and secondary storage so it is rarely accessed data and does not require or need of any quick or any dependable by its main and secondary storage territory storage is typically less expensive so territory storage is very typically less expensive and slower than primary and secondary storage so comparing to primary and secondary storage this is very slower than other data achieving and long term retention so this consists some achieving of data and it is very long time as well as the data backup and recovery so whatever you are taking the retrieving from the data that will be kept under backup and are frequently done using this territory storage so this territory storage keeps the data by keeping this data safe and you can recover it that uh, recover the data or you can place it under data backup when the power is lost so territory storage or floppy disk magnetic op disk optical disk and worm so these are the four different types of territory storages what are they floppy disk magnetic op disk optical disk and worm so what are the different features of this territory storage structure there are several key features of territory storage that is low cost large storage capacity slow access stronger for the long term so what do i mean by low cost because tertiary storage is intended for rarely accessed data and does not have be as quick or dependable so it, uh, this storage is intended and rarely accessed so it is not frequently accessing it is very rarely accessed by the users and does not have any quick or dependable so it may be uh, don't respond quickly and it may depend on other sources it is typically less expensive than primary and secondary storage and it is very less expensive compared with the primary and secondary storages what i mean by large storage capacity territory storage devices are made to hold a lot of data usually that may be under between terabytes and petabytes so this large storage capacity is uh, hold with a lot of data that may be under terabytes to petabytes and what do i mean by slow access territory storage is not designed for frequent use hence it often access more slower than main and secondary storage so this uh, is not designed frequently for the use hence it is often slower than the primary or main memory and secondary storage devices so it is very slow accessible what do you mean by storage for the long time territory storage is frequently used to store data for the long time that is not used but must be kept for regulator or compliance reasons or for data achieving so the storage which is kept for the long term that may be used to regularity or compliance reasons or any for data achieving these are the three reasons for this uh, storing the data for the long time so maybe a regularity or any compliance reasons or any data achieving so next one is data backup and recovery Territory storage is frequently used for data backup and recovery because it offers an affordable and dependable way to store data that might be required in the event of data loss or corruption. 
so whatever the data which you want to get the, through backup or any recovery of the data so it offers an affordable and dependable store that can be uh, used when the data is lost or any interrupt occurs so any errors or any buffering happens so the, at the time you can re retrieve the data by using this backup what do you mean by large storage capacity tertiary storage offers significantly larger storage capacity compared to primary and secondary storage in this tertiary storage it offers a significant large capacity compared to primary and secondary storage making it an ideal for storing large amounts of data that may not fit in primary or secondary storage so whatever the data which is kept by this uh, tertiary uh, tertiary storage it often significantly have the large capacities to store the data compared to primary and secondary that may be not fit by primary or secondary storage it may have some large amount that's it cost effective tertiary storage is typically most more cost effective than primary and secondary storage as it is designed for large scale data storage and it is available in high capacity devices so comparing with the uh, primary and secondary this is very cost effective and it is designed through large scale data storage in the availability of high capacity devices so to store the data it is very costly easy accessibility with tertiary storage data can be easily accessed and retrieved as needed so whatever the data which is under need and we can be easily accessed the data can easily retrieve even if it is not currently being used so even if we are on the use of the data or we can if we are not on the use of that data whenever we are need for the user that can be easily accessible this is because tertiary storage operates at a slower speed then compared to primary and secondary so it works on the slower speed compared with the primary and secondary it is very slow so what are the different applications for this tertiary storage structure so the applications are backup and recovery archiving digital pre preservation big data analytics cloud storage and data warehouse so what do i mean by data backup and recovery tertiary storage is commonly used to store backups for critical data to protect against the data loss due to some hardware failures or other forms of data corruptions so whatever whenever the failures occur by the hardware in the form of any data corruption at the time we need some backup to protect the data so in that case we are having some backups and recovery of the data archiving tertiary storage can be used to store large amounts of historical data that is not frequently accessed but still needs to preserve for regularity legal or any business reasons so it may be large amounts of historical data that may be only accessed by the employees or any frequently visitors or frequently asked users but they still need some regularity for uh, any business reasons so need some archiving next digital preservation tertiary storage is used to store preserve used to store and preserve valuable digital content such as historical documents audio and video recordings and photographs so whatever the uh, need of this digital that may be uh, audio video or any images or any photographs so that preserve some valuable digital content that is what digital preservation for this territory territory storage big data analytics bda territory storage systems can store large amounts of raw data that can be processed and analyzed for insights for decision making so this big data analytics store some large amounts of raw material means whatever the amount required for this data that can be processed and analyzed insights for this making of decisions that is what how this bda works on territory storage system next cloud storage tertiary storage is a component of cloud storage solutions 
where data is stored remotely and accessed over the internet so this is based on the internet accessible and it is used for the cloud storage solutions wherever the data is stored remotely and accessed only by the internet next data warehouses tertiary data uh, tertiary storage is used to store large amounts of structured data for business intelligence and data analysis so this warehouse is used to store some large amount of data for only business intelligence and data analysis this is what data warehouse for the tertiary storage so in this session we have seen about tertiary storage structure so what are the key features of this tertiary storage and what do you mean by tertiary tertiary storage applications If you have any doubts you can comment in comment box thank you